Okay, this is Greg again from Microsoft Hates Greg. And uh, today I want to give a big shout out to uh, Brian Julius, uh, who helped me uncover a potential issue in people updating supported measures.json. So in my last two videos, I've kind of casually mentioned, hey, just go out and download supported measures.json, replace that file within the resources directory of your Mushkukum installation, and away you go. Um, However, what I, what I failed to, to realize um, at the time is that uh, this is GitHub, and uh, GitHub's open source, and it's therefore kind of garbage. Um, so anyway, uh, complaints against GitHub aside, I'll get into those more here in a second. But if you go to certain files that aren't text files that uh, GitHub can display, like when you're downloading Mushkukum uh, Gamma, uh, you get this nice handy download button right here, which is great. It actually says download. It's very clear what this button does. And I can just download this into my downloads directory. However, when you go to text-based files like supportedmeasures.json, you get no such download button, as you can see. Um, and you don't even get anything that even tells you what these icons do. There's no tooltip or anything. Um, so what I'm going to do is, first thing I'm going to do is show you how you can get yourself into trouble and the kind of error you're going to get within Mishkukum if you do things wrong, and then I'll show you how to do it correctly. Um, so one might reasonably conclude, well, how do I download this thing? I can, I'll can, i just right-click it, and I'll save my link as, and I'll pop up, and I'll call it supportedmeasures.json. That's great. It's in my downloads directory. I'll go ahead and save this. So now if I open up my downloads directory, I have my supportedmeasures.json file right here. And one of the things that you might want to notice when you're doing this is that this is uh, almost a two meg file. Um, I can guarantee you that there are not two megs worth of content within supportedmeasures.json. So that'll be your first uh, cue if you're doing this and you start things start to go haywire. But let's go ahead and do this. We'll go ahead and copy this file. We will go to our Mushkukum installation directory, the resources directory. I'll go ahead and paste this in. I'll replace it. It's all replaced. And now when I go to my external tools and I click my icon for that installation. Invalid JSON primitive dot. So not very intuitive what that means, although I will say the uh, error checking did its job and it didn't crash horribly. Um, at least gave you a some kind of error message of what was going on. Um, I may fix that in the next release to give a more intuitive error message. And as you notice, uh, Mushkukum did not load. So if we go back to that downloads directory and I open this file up in Notepad, and I'll get this on the correct screen, you can see that this is not a really a JSON file whatsoever, but is an HTML file. Um, that's not good for Mushkukum. I can tell you that right now. So um, I will now show you the correct way of going about this. If we go back to supportedmeasures.json and I click on this, this comes up again. I still don't have the, any kind of download. You know, God forbid GitHub open sourcers that, you know, anybody would want to actually download a uh, text file. I mean, how crazy is that? But uh, no, instead, what you need to do is you need to hit this little copy button here, which doesn't say it's a copy button, but that's what it is. And you got the little checkbox. Now what I can do, because this is so much easier than just downloading the file, I can now open up Notepad. I can paste this in. I can say file, save as, and we'll say supported measures.json. Say all files, because we don't want it to be a text file. We will delete. The current one that's out there is bad, and I'll save this. And it doesn't smart enough to know that it didn't need to replace it. Anyway, so now if you look at this file in my download directory, supportedmeasures.json, you will notice that it is 220 kilobytes. That is the correct size for the current version of supportedmeasures.json for Mushkukum. So now what I can do, I can now, I can now copy this. Go back to my resources directory. I can paste it in. I replace it. 
back to Mushkukum. Click it. And it loads. And I have all of my SVG icons and everything else. So that is the way not to update supported measures.json and the error that you will receive. And this is the way that you do and download and uh, update your supported measures.json, which will succeed. So hope this has been informative and I hope it saved uh, some people some hours of frustration, which apparently, sorry, Brian, uh, that <laughs> Brian Julius went through uh, pulling his hair out trying to get this to work uh, until we got on, on LinkedIn and we got it hammered out. So this is Greg signing off. Hope everybody has a good New Year's Eve.